I love that, Chester. That's, that's terrific. Thank you. Thank you. I got through it. Sometimes I... You know, you're in great shape. Don't get the words right. <laughs> you have to draw in a deep breath before you do that, oh, don't yeah. you? But it's amazing what your uh, subconscious mind will do. You know, you can memorize almost anything, I guess, if you... There's just no breathing places in that one. song. <laughs> That's right. Now, uh, Chet was at my office the other day, and he sang that for me. And you sang another little song about I, I dearly love. It's about a girl, isn't it? Yeah, don't tell the title. Just about yeah. a... It's about a Gibson girl. No, we're not supposed to say that. Oh, yet. I'm sorry. Uh, Just about a girl. Just about a girl. Yeah. I think I'll do it here. This is kind of... Can I adjust that? I don't have oh, my sure. union card. <laughs> <laughs> this was written by Wayne Simmons, a fellow down in Florida, and I did it in an album with Jerry Reed. It's not out yet. And uh, Jim Stafford gave it to me. She was standing in the closet when my wife walked out on me. She was hanging on my shoulder when I moved to Tennessee. She's been whiskey stained and stepped on, but she's always served me well. If you could coax her into talking all the stories she could tell. Want to hear more? Oh, yes. Other arms have tried to hold her in a hundred different bars. She's been passed around and picked on, and her body shows the scars. She's been thrown behind the front seat of too many people's cars. I'll pick her up and take her home and treat her like a star. So sing a song you know she loves to play along. She'll put music in your heart with her song. It's about a guitar, folks, you know that already. <laughs> Other, uh, let's see, now her once girlish body, now her once girlish figure is beginning to show some age. Lots of lines and scratches where my searching fingers played. But when I hold her to my body, I feel I own the world. To, more she, to me, she's more than wood and string. She's my Gibson girl. So sing a song you know She loves to play along She'll put music in your heart With her song And I do this ending I'll do that one more <laughs> I love that All right That's terrific well, you've done the two songs that I wanted you to do uh, here at the top of the show, the Yankety Sax, or Yankety, Yankety Axe, Axe, yeah, and the Gibson Girl. Those are wonderful. Are uh, they part of your act? Yeah, I do uh, Yankety Axe all the time. I've never done Gibson Girl, as you can tell. <laughs> I don't remember it too well. You mentioned something that uh, uh, you were, I think you were working on the other day. You and Jerry Reed have a new album coming out. Yeah in the fall don't you? in the fall or early next year yeah first, he's up in canada right or in alaska right now first right time now. Uh, you and jerry have had two albums yeah back in the 70s did you win grammys for those i don't know i think so i can't <laughs> remember i don't really remember <laughs> did, i know you won two grammys this year with mark now i sure did yeah you won uh where is it you won a grammy for this album didn't you yes we did two albums uh, two two grammys i mean yeah well, what were the grammys for uh uh, the best vocal, uh, oh, best vocal. Uh, happening of the year and the best instrumental, I believe. Oh, there's a little tune in here that you and Mark Knopfler sing together. Yeah. Which is called... Uh, Poor Boy Blues. Yeah. And there was a video, video on it. Video on it, yeah. It's a good video, yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you, Ralph. I know you're, I know you're tuckered after those two little <laughs> outings. We'll take a break. On tonight's show, in addition to the godfather of the guitar, Chet Atkins, we have Miss Shelby Lynn, and we have Lobo. We'll be right back. Your golf tournament is coming up in Knoxville right away, isn't it? It is, uh, June 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and uh, doing very well. We need a few more celebs. Is this at the Dean Hills Country Club? Yeah, it is. We had it over there for several years, starting in 1970, and uh, then we moved it to Callaway Gardens and then back over to Knoxville. Does this support a uh, charity? It is the Ronald McDonald House. 
And uh, who are some of the celebrities who are going to be there? We've got Perry Como, and uh, hey, that's about all we need, really, if you've got him. You know, he's a pretty big star. And we've got uh, Dale Robertson, who goes to a lot of tournaments. And uh, we've got uh, people like Dave Loggins and some of the riders here in town and uh, some others that I, I don't know about. And so uh, do people have to pay to get into the golf course to see them? The businessmen do. They pay $250 to play. Well, I assume the public can just come out and watch. And they get to play with a really big star, like, <laughs> like uh, Jerry Chestnut or some of those guys. You used to produce Barry Como. Yeah, I did. We had, I got a royalty check uh, yesterday. Uh, and, uh, and I love you so. It uh, sells all over the world still. And I love you so. Yeah. Great song by Don McLean. One of my favorites. You did, as I recall, you did, you did your first album with him in the mid 60s of a lot of Nashville tunes. Yeah, that's right. And uh, Well, he sings so easily. He still sings well, too. I was over at his golf tournament last uh, Saturday and Sunday, and, um, and he did a beautiful show. Are we ready over here? Okay. This young lady, this is recently he had a very nice thing happen to him. They named a street after him. Was that the old uh, Hawkins Street? No, it wasn't. That's, that is now Roy Eckert Place. Okay. What, which old street did they name it? South Street. It's okay. about four blocks. It runs uh, uh, east and west. So you, you and Roy Eckert have parallel streets. Yeah, this street named after him is right by Studio B, where I used to work, where I slaved so long. Well, you, you were just up the street then. You're, you're, I'm down you're, the street a block. You're, are, you, uh, are you the same, uh, you have the same street where Ray Stevens has his office? Uh, no, that's Grand. Okay, all right. I'm, One I'm more beginning. street back toward I'm, old RCA. Okay. Chet, how many acts did you use to produce at RCA? Oh, 30, 35 usually. Uh, but that, that was when... Uh, we recorded on the mono, our, our stereo. Then when we went to three track, it became work and it was impossible to do that anymore. This a big thrill for you? The street? Yeah. Oh yeah, I felt important for a day. <laughs> and I drive by it, I think, well, oh, that's nice that they did that while I'm still here and kicking, you know? So many times they do things like that after you're gone and what good does it do? Yeah, I believe in roses for the living. And we have a tape of the ceremonies on the 8th of May down at Chet Atkins Place. So let's take a look. First came Roy Acuff Place. Now there's a new celebrity street on Music 